Live corpses on Siberia. Was there a top secret facility where science worked on reviving the dead? Several elements would suggest that in that this is the case. We are in Inia, a town in Siberia. Here there was supposed to be the institution where decades ago the most brilliant minds were to accomplish the impossible, revive corpses. Nowadays, in a place of the complex, there are only ruins. It's difficult to determine what exactly was there. Till this day, we can stumble upon things resembling medical equipment, but it's clear that there was no hospital here, as the, elders local, as the elder locals recall. One day, the military came, marked out an area, set up a construction site, and it took them several years to build it. One building after another, people were happy because there was work. But as soon as they finished, the military surrounded the area and barbed wired f uh, and barbed wired fences, and forbade to even walk in the vicinity. I remember trucks pulling up and soldiers uh, unloading some equipment. Behind there was a large lot where huge delivery vehicles pulled up. People said those were refrigerated trucks. It had been going on like that for more than a dozen years, and nothing happened. Two or three years before they closed before they closed it down, some weird things had occurred. We saw them transporting people to the facility, and the whole village heard screaming in the middle of the night as if they were murdering people. One day it just stopped. The trucks left. The military stayed for a while. Engineers came. They tore the whole thing to the ground, and that was it. What could have been at that facility? When asked about possible explanation, Dr. Ligiev, an eminent historian, says... It was not unusual for the previous government to build a facility hidden deep in the corners of Siberia. It does not have anything to do with any paranormal fairy tale, but merely with classified military activity. Although historical sources remain silent about Inia village and any military facilities or scientists in that area, it totally contradicts the inhabitants' stories. Okay. We became aware of existing documents that could shed light on the case, an extract from a correspondence where the names of the sender and receiver are censored mentions about a facility in the middle of Siberia where the military sends well-preserved bodies of convicts in refrigeration trucks for further research. Furthermore, the, author, the author writes, I do hope you will manage to do something with them because the mountain is becoming impatient and one alive is not enough. Oh, really? One alive. Oh, really? I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Oh, oh, I see fire over there. Let's try to speak English here. I'm not going to have anything crazy. That's not like wild orange. No, hold on. Cha-ching. Nice. So now, where are you? Oh, I see. Am I? Am I up here? No, I'm over here. 2081. 1483. I gotta get up here. Alright. So hold on a minute. I gotta go north from this. I'll go this way. Okay. Go this way. And there's gonna be a cave. No? 
No. Okay, I fucked up. Something to grab in that tent? Uh, I don't know. Let me take a look. Yeah, this has got to be where I'm at. Is the cave is up there. Oh, I have to go all the way around. Fucking kidding me. All right, whatever. Oh, here it is. Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy sh... Okay. Okay. Let's ha let my heart catch up here. The Soviet Research Unit for Natural Phenomenon Regarding the Occurrence of Anomaly OH-91. First incidents took place in 1950 and 1953 in the area of Igarka by the construction of the Transpolar Main Line. The works were halted and the incidents classified. Any witnesses were ordered to be eliminated. In October 17th, or on October 17th, 1950, according to witness evidence, at the same altitude as Camp 503 to the west of Igarka City, an, an emanation of unknown force and source occurred and caused instant death of 42 workers. The bodies literally evaporated and only shadows were left as the witnesses testified the incident was sudden and short. The next incident took place three years later on March 14, 1953. Then also in the above-mentioned camp, a solidification effect occurred. The bodies of 12 workers just froze. After autopsy, they were declared dead. The bodies are still lying intact in Section 12 of the Seversk Research Complex. That's cute. All right, so... So... Oh, yeah, yeah. 
No, 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 no. Exist. I'm not. Who's crying? The human being's mind is a curious toy, consumed by pain and madness. It resists, but defends itself from what can set it free. The path to understanding leads through contradiction. We deny one simple fact. The fact that humans are the real monsters. And as such, we should treat each other. Although I had been deluding myself otherwise for so many years, I have finally figured out my true nature. Remember that in the darkness, you are never alone. There is always someone who awaits your fall. Oh boy. So, oh, so I'm a girl? Or a child? <sighs> All right, I've got f five more places I need to find. So, just see something real quick. So, the camp should be here. Or sensitive male. Eh. as if some consciousness started soaking through an orange cloud into my brain, dripping with heavy drops, not letting me pass away nice and peaceful. I fought with myself. I had no strength to open my eyes. And finally, after processing the situation on and on, I realized I have no eyes. All right. 
I believe that is this right here. I'm at 2892. Alright, so... 5130. Thirty. Forty-five. All right, forty-five, and then yeah. So the rest of the stuff I have to find is all south-ish. So I'm right here. to go back this way. Need to go which way? <sighs> yes, I am his long lost daughter from the uh the Silent Hill series. You found me out. just need to get to the center and I, then I can get to lower thing and then we can find the other four places and we'll be good or five places and we'll be good in circles. This sucks. Alright, then I need to find a camp because I can quick travel.
Need to get to the rest of these locations, so whoa, hold on, hold on. Where is it? I hear it, I don't see it. He lit up. I don't see it. Peace out. It's loud over here, too. Whatever. All right. Need to get out to the center. Should be able to just go through this. <sighs> the Amnesia games are on my, uh, are on my list of games to, uh, play again and make sure they're recorded so we can uh, do the horror games for Halloween. Finally, we made it to the pass. Thank God, we made it. On our way, I felt someone was following us. I heard strange whispers around. I sometimes even caught a glimpse of a moving shadow in the trees. There were moments I could feel someone's breath upon my shoulder. But when I stopped still, hearing the snow crunching under one's boots, and turned around, there was nobody there. I had the impression this is a place of some horrid altar of madness. Nothing is as it should be. Or, or it's some kind of a nightmare. And then we found the bodies. Something told me not to look, but it looked like something was sticking out, or maybe there was just some voice in my head which kept repeating, Go down there, go. I can hear it clearly even now. So I went down and found the remaining four. The way they looked, what on earth could have happened to them? I'm not able to describe it in detail. Smashed skulls, twisted limbs, broken ribs, torn, cut, or burnt skin. Never ever have I seen anything like this. A gruesome image of madness or some sick experiment. As if someone or something played with them and abandoned the destroyed toys in the forest. I felt madness was slowly but firmly overcoming my soul. Oh, is it? Thank you for that, good sir. Well, no, I'm, I, un I get the idea now. I got, I guess I have to collect or experience these particular areas that are listed, um, firsthand. Uh, 
I just need to get to the central area. Howdy, Ninja. How you doing? This is Colot. Come on, come on. There we go. There she blows. All right, so. We are coming out on the side here. Fifty-four. All right. based on a true story about what happened to some hikers and things like that and how the bodies were found and how it's a mystery and things like that and then this the obviously this is all extra stuff um Let's see if that's, in fact, where I'm at. Paper somewhere. She blows. Oh, I have to read this one? Are you kidding me? Ah. Oh. Uluju Sir Czech, Death Valley. Anthony Ninzi, a scientist and expert on the Saka Republic, set off to the area of Ulugio Sir Czechercheck. I think it's Kacher, Kacher, known as Death Valley. What has he discovered there? What are the mysterious constructions buried in the ground? Only here you can get the answers and other unbelievable facts concerning this godforsaken place on Earth. Um, yeah, it's the, the, pretty much yeah. I don't think Jetty's that did it, but. I set off at dawn, 
If you had not seen Dawn by the the river Vilyuyi, you have not seen the most beautiful thing on the planet. This is a magical place full of nostalgia of what mankind has lost. Freedom, space, nature, wild and uncontrollable. There is no place for comp uh, for compromises because this region is as is as beautiful as it is dangerous. I arrived in Death Valley around noon. The area stretches over an air the area stretches out over an area of 100,000 square kilometers, so you have to know what you are looking for. Luckily, I had a great guide. We stumbled upon the first building more or less after two hours of walk. Not much can be ciphered by observing a pile of ground from the outside, but the readings clearly show that what is beneath is at least seven meters in diameter. It reminds a large... Buried church with protruding edges. It is also difficult to determine how many such buildings exist in this area. I talked to the natives, and from what I gathered, there are at least 11 constructions scattered around the different places in the valley. What could these enormous mounds be? Many inhabitants claim that they have to have something to do with the Tunguska event. There is a common ground for countless unexplained stories and folktales. For example, I have heard of a hunter named Arleman. As he was not able to find any game, he went deeper into the forest until he got lost. He was sure he was going to die when he found a strange construction. Suddenly, the ground shook and a secret door opened. A man came out and he gave Arleman just one advice. Protect yourself against the orange light. He got out of the forest after a week. Until now, it is impossible to confirm this mysterious meeting, but I heard the story from Arleman's granddaughter herself. <laughs> 